my inner sanctum today. And as I have a little bit of ADD. Let me see. Oh yeah. We're good. Lighting might not be the greatest, but we're good. Yeah, I've come to a conclusion. Retirement causes ADD. Yes, it does. Retirement causes ADD. I never had it before until I retired. I can't stay focused. I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta go here, I gotta go there. I don't sit still, I don't sleep. And they said retirement was gonna be so wonderful, right? Yeah, except that, uh, <laughs> it shows security income. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to live off that, right? Cause you paid into it your whole life. Me, like from the time I was 16. Yeah, that, that was a lie. See, there's lots of things government lies about, and that's, that's a f one real important one they don't need to be lying about. Yeah, don't sleep. Why do I don't sleep? Because I have creative ADD. That's what I call it. So I've got these little things that I'm working on here. Um, making little lap quilts for uh, kids who um, are fighting cancer, fighting for their lives, bless their little hearts. And also making lap quilts for the old, older folks that are cold all the time because of their medicine. And nobody likes to have cold feet. I, I, you know, I can't sleep because I have cold feet. That's my other problem. Cold feet, no sleep. ADD, no sleep. Always trying to figure out something to do. And I should be just relaxing in my retirement. I was, oh, I'm retired and relaxed. There's no such thing. I think, I know. I am more tired now than when I held a 40 hour work week. I really am. Now, this creative ADD thing that I've got, well, it has its benefits. Yeah, actually it does. Doing these videos, that's fun. And it just gives me an outlet, you know. Can't sleep, so why not be silly on a video camera, right? But, you know, I listen to a lot of uh, good old classic rock and roll. And in my moments, in my creative moments, that's what I listen to. And I thought to myself, you know what? The best music was there in the 80s, and that was the big hair era. Remember that, 80s? So I decided I wanted to see what it felt like to be a big hair 80 girl. Da, 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 da. Yeah, John Bon Jovi. My uh, sister has said head over heels in love with that boy. And so I got myself an 80s wig. You know, it, it needs some work. I admit, I had it looking real good earlier. And I thought to myself, so you're definitely not a blonde. No. You know, they say blondes have more fun. No, they don't. They have more fun as a redhead. I've had more guys hit on me as a redhead than anything. And even when I was married back, back where I went, you know, younger, slimmer, whatever, you know. I, I got back there. But, um, yeah, it was ironic. But, you know, getting creative, you get to sell stuff, right? Or I try anyhow. So, who do you got to deal with? Well, it's selling stuff. The USPS, UPS, and FedEx. Why can't they have normal names? Why's it got to be an acronym? Does anybody know what USPS stands for? And who wants to get their mail shipped by an oops truck? You know, UPS, oops, oops truck. But, uh... Especially when they mess up your packages and they say, oh, no, that's just that's part of her. Yeah, whatever, dude. Claim. <laughs> oh, and don't even get me started on lost packages. Well, they're either lost or there's porch pirates. Who coined that phrase? A porch pirate. I'm sorry, they're thieves. Straight up. I guess because they say they take it from someone's porch 
and they're pillaging, that's a fancy word, these days anyway, they're pillaging booty, treasure, your stuff, so that makes them a pirate. I've never seen one that has a pirate hat on or a skull and crossbones on their head or carrying a skull and crossbones flag. So how would that make them a pirate? Uh, you know, we have some weird ways of describing things and people. And I always think to myself, who came up with this mess? Air thieves. They're mail package thieves. Oh, I guess it's not as cute. Porsche, Porsche pirate sounds cuter, I guess. I love those, I love the videos that they show on the news where they get caught by the homeowner. Priceless. I want to be one of those. I want to catch one trying to steal my package. I got a BB gun and I'm going to point it at him. I won't shoot him. No, no, no. I don't believe in shooting people. No, no, no. I just want to watch them sweat thinking it's a real one. They're on my property and they're taking my stuff. They deserve to wet themselves, okay? So, ADD and retirement come hand in hand. I didn't have it before, I got it now. And uh, then you get into where you're so, it's not boredom. I don't know what you call it. It's part of ADD. It's where you look around the house and you look in every room and you're like going, well, I don't use that anymore. That's ugly, that needs to go. And who can I give it to? And wait, I'll sell it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can be a shrewd business person with uh, your stuff, right? <laughs> not everybody wants your stuff, by the way. They know it's junk. You may not know it's junk, but they know it's junk. And you won't admit that it's junk, but it's junk. Unless it's something of value, you know, kind of like uh, stereo equipment or um, cameras or, uh, in my case, sewing machines. Yeah. Man, they come in all shapes and sizes, and I never knew that they could be so different in weight. And so when you go to ship something like that, you're going to get a hernia. <laughs> almost. Uh, almost. you got to be careful with some of these things. Solid metal ones are just like, oh my gosh. But, you know, <sighs> being retired is like trying to be 22 again. And do you remember being 22? That's over 40 years ago for me. Being 22 is you had more energy than you know what to do with. You couldn't stop. You, you didn't sleep because you didn't need to. Me, I'm like, please, please, six hours, just six hours. And I get three. <laughs> Not always fun. Can you imagine running a household 24 seven when you only used to run it like eight hours after you got done work? That's a lot of hours doing house stuff, laundry, food, cleaning, pets, husbands, wives, all of that good fun stuff that uh, just fills up your day really fast. And then you're like, where's my time? Where's me time? I need some me time. This is my me time. This is my me time. Telling you about that goofy stuff that happens when you get retired. Well, it's goofy and an irritating and funny and not so funny and really a mess at times. When you have a cat that uh, eats food too fast and throws up all the time. Yeah, oh, that's fun. That's part of the cleanup part. I didn't sign up for that, especially not retirement. But uh, it's part of it. You know, you got pets. You got to do what you got to do with pets. They are part of your retirement too. And as a matter of fact, they are more a part of your retirement than you can imagine. I'm surprised one of mine hasn't uh, photobombed me tonight already. Uh, <laughs> he um, is a huge Maine Coon cat with a big fluffy tail. And he misses his mama because he's always down here in the basement area. This is our movie room. And I'm not going to give you a tour because you'll get jealous. <laughs> uh -uh, it's nice. My husband built this. Uh, the room was already finished up, but he made it into a wonderful movie room. Yeah, we watch 3D movies in here. <gasps> but you don't. Jealous? Good. Um, I didn't know he had it until after we were married. <clears throat> I didn't get to come down to the basement till then. Um, 
And uh, the other thing in retirement, I see these ladies, oh my gosh. And I, and I, and yeah, you can tell, I'm not a makeup girl, right? I see these chicks at the light, at the weirdest places, putting all this mess on. The mascara, the, the makeup, the caterpillar eyelashes. I don't understand those, by the way. Don't get it. How can you see through them? You can't put any glasses on if you have bad eyesight. So how do you put your contacts in? I guess you have to put them in before the caterpillars go on your face. I'm sorry, it reminds me of clown makeup and clown get up, but well, it's no different than these wigs I got. I got two of them. So I can play dress up, pretend I'm somebody I'm not. Just to kind of play. This is Rod Stewart. <gasps> Don't I look at Rod Stewart? It's a Rod Stewart wig in. I haven't combed it yet. I don't know if it has any potential or not, but this is what ADD does to you. In retirement, you retire, you get ADD, and then you do weird junk just to keep your sanity from not working. We grow up, can't wait to work, get into the workforce, then we can't wait to get out of the workforce, and then we're like, oh gosh, I wish I was back in the workforce because I don't know what to do with my time, but I don't sleep, and, I, and I'm at three, up at three o'clock in the morning, guess what? making peanut butter cookies. No lie. And it wasn't bad enough that they were peanut butter. Because we like peanut butter cookies. Half were peanut butter cookies with chocolate chips. Dark chocolate, mind you. Helps with the headaches. <laughs> From all the other stuff. And the other ones uh, were peanut butter with Heath Bar chips in them. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get a couple of those. The one great thing about no sleep is Coffee doesn't keep me awake. Actually, sometimes it helps me to go to sleep. So I don't know about you guys. Um, what helps you go to sleep? I'm still trying to figure out what's gonna do it for me like right then. Haven't figured it out yet. Migraine medicine doesn't do it. Used to, doesn't anymore. Cause I'm retired. When you're retired, stuff, those medicines don't work no more. Supposed to be over the counter. You need some value. Uh, you know, I'm constantly doing something, and I don't know why. Can somebody tell me why, when you retire, you, you literally do not stop moving? I don't get it. I want to relax. I want to sit down. I want my kitty cat to come snuggle up with me. And here I am running around the house, running out to the mailbox, mailing off packages, getting packages in the mail, creating more stuff, uh, making earrings. These are hippie earrings, by the way. Well, at least. Peace signs and stuff. You know, this is the kind of stuff that you do when you retire. You just don't know what to do with yourself. And if you're a crafty person like myself, you start making these kind of things. I mean, I don't want to do with them, but I made them. I mean, they're cute. Anybody want to buy one? I got a bunch of, I got purple, I got black and white. I got all kinds of colors in here. I even got, uh, what you call those things? Frangipedias. The uh, Hawaiian flower. Uh, Earrings. Hey, how cute. Uh, see, that's the problem. Right there. My creative ADD was heightened when I retired because it gave me more time to create. Consequently, guess what? I don't know when to stop creating. And my brain is turning 100 miles an hour thinking of new things to create. I need some sleep. I don't know how to get it. Uh, I'll figure it out. Maybe by the time I'm retired five years, I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But I needed some pizza quiet. Came down here. Not a great backdrop. This is an old, old sofa well, that I covered up so the cat hair doesn't get on it. And uh, I hope the lighting isn't too bad. Because I turn the top light on, it ends up getting really, really bright in here. But. That's another, you know, in retirement, you're like, you overthink stuff. And I'm thinking, I should turn this around like this and see if it does any better as far as lighting goes. Couldn't find my other light box. So let's see how that, is it better? That might be better. Of course, I'm gonna have a shadow on that. Oh, nope, that's out of my face now. I might be, I might be actually better. I don't know when I see the, uh, I do the, uh, preview before I release this uh, video. Um, 
I love being stupid. Silly stupid. My kids would say corny stupid, Mom. Or corny silly. Um, I'm not a stagehand. That great of lighting. Great at ADD creativity. I think if you were to name a craft, I've done it. Basically. And I guess that's a good thing. When you retire, when you do develop ADD, and you just happen to be a creative person, you never run out of things to create. Not really. If you get bored with one item to create, you go, oh, I can do pottery. Oh, wait, I can do candles. No, I'm going to do doggy neckerchiefs. And I don't know why people dress up their dogs, but they do. I have a friend who has a full wardrobe for her little, what is that thing? I think it's a Shih Tzu. It's not a Barbie doll, okay? It's a dog. Dog probably walking around going, oh God, another dress. Uh, would you want to be dressed up if you were a dog? With those little frilly tutu things on your butt? No, nah, I'd be, before that person tried to put that on my little butt as a dog, I'd be biting them. Get that thing from, away from me. I'm a, you know, ain't no person. But people treat their animals like they're their babies. Mine, they're cats. I treat them like cats. Yes, I snuggle with them, but I treat them like cats. Because when I'm retired, and that's where I am, and it's me time. And if me time means I've got ADD, I guess I'll just live with it. Yeah, it's, it's not bad being retired. The only come thing, not so great, but like I said, you look around the house and you see stuff and I don't need that. That hasn't been used in two months. He doesn't wear that anymore. Hello, Goodwill. <laughs> you know, and if before you know it, guess what? You've gotten rid of about, hmm, probably a fourth of the junk you've been wanting to get rid of the whole time you were working in a real job, working 40 hours a week. That's a plus. That's a real plus for retirement ADD, don't you think? I do. Yeah, I think, I know. I got some more creative ADD rolling in, so I'm gonna say, I will see you all on the flip side. <laughs>